In this video, we're going to look at the SD series. We're going to review the Learn More section of the website, which goes over installation and other details. And then we're going to do a typical manual setup via the push buttons. So from any SD flow meter page, you can click on the Learn More link. This page here discusses benefits of monitoring and reducing energy consumption. In the key to the left, click on Setup and Support. This page goes over the most important mounting restrictions from the manual. You have straight pipe runs before the sensor. You have direction of flow, which is also indicated with an arrow on the side of the SD sensor itself. And you have the importance of orientation of the sensor in the application. With all these steps in mind, let's next take a look at programming and then testing the sensor through the push buttons and display. The three push button interface on the sensor is convenient to use and you start by pressing the enter button. Press down until EF and press enter. Now in this menu, you wanna go down to CFG and press enter. And here we can press enter to change our units to be feet cubed per minute, temperature to Fahrenheit, pressure to PSI, or any other unit that you would like to read in. With that done, we'll go back up to the EF menu and select out one. Press Enter. Change OU1 to be IMP so that you get the pulsed signal. Next, you will set up the volumetric quantity at which you want to see a pulse. In this case, I am going to simply put that at one cubic foot by pressing the up button until the value matches and then enter to save. IMPR1 is automatically set for yes so we get that pulse signal. At out two, you will make sure that OU2 is set for I for current. ASP is typically zero. If you go into AEP, you can scale that analog endpoint, which will be your 20 milliamp signal. In this case, I'm gonna use the down button to scroll and press enter once at five. Now you can go down to DIS for display, and you can change the display here to be L4 so that it shows all of the units on the display. If you press up and then down, it will eventually pop back out to the main menu. You can see all of the units are now on the display. I will allow air to flow through the SD. You can see the flow rate, the temperature, the pressure, and here at the bottom, the totalizer incrementing. This has been a simple setup using the push buttons of the SD series. As always, you can check out our website for helpful information on any of our products or contact us at info.us at ifm.com or call into 1-800-441-8246 to speak with somebody who can assist you. Thank you for your time and have a great day.